I just got this email a little while ago. Elementor's all-in-one solution is here. This is Elementor Cloud. We made a video about this a month or so ago and you're able to get on the wait list at that point. And now if you're on the wait list, you would have received this email, which gives you special launch pricing of $9.90 per month. And what this is for is Elementor Cloud Hosting. And it basically means you can build Elementor sites a little faster, but not cheaper though, because you could do this at a hosting account like SiteGround and be paying $9.90 a month for multiple websites. Whereas here, if you go to the PS, or the note, our all-in-one solution could only be used on new Elementor sites and each subscription applies to one site. So if you're creating one Elementor site, it's $9.90 per month. You wanna make two right out of the gate, it's now, uh, what's that, $19.80 per month for both of those. Or if you don't get the launch special, it's gonna be nearly $20 per site that you're hosting with SiteGround. For some people, that'll be worth it. For most, that's super expensive. Uh, anyway, here's what you get. You get managed hosting of your site. WordPress and Elementor are pre-installed. All Elementor Pro features are included. Hello theme is activated. Secure with SSL and CDN by Cloudflare. And right after this quick intro, we're gonna take a look. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn All, Pass and WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To give Elementor Cloud a go, all you have to do is click on this link right here if you got this email, or log into your dashboard. If you weren't signed up for the waitlist, I'm not sure if it'll be there. Because it says specifically, since you sign up for the waitlist, you'll get to be one of the first to try it out. So it might not be there if you're not on the waitlist. Either way, click on this link or go into your Elementor dashboard and the Create Website button right up here is Elementor Cloud. This is in your Elementor Pro account. So you go to elementor.com and you log in if you own Elementor and you have access to this. If you don't have Elementor yet, there's currently 50% off sale for Elementor's birthday, as you can see right here. All plans half off. And if you don't have Elementor yet, you can pick it up right now for 50% off any of the pro plans. There's a link you can use in the description down below. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to buy through that link, but I get a small commission and that helps me keep making these videos for you. And once you have your pro account, there'll be a green button right up here that says create website. And this is maybe only for people who are on the wait list. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, we click on that button if it's there and we start creating our site. For the site name, let's pull out an old classic. You can't do capitals here. It's called donkey walking, we do spaces. We'll see. Next, your website domain will be https donkeywalking.elementor.cloud. Okay, fantastic. Add a password. It's got my email address auto-filled. Let's generate a password for that. Create website. There's no indication how long that'll take. Didn't take very long at all. All right, so Let's do that not now. While you're waiting, we are, and it's dashboard. While you're waiting, we are. While you're waiting, we're activating the Elementor Pro plugin on your dashboard. While you're waiting, we are unboxing the drag and drop editor. While you're waiting, we are applying a basic theme to your site. Sounds like you're doing a lot of stuff. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And we're still waiting. Takes a few minutes to set up a website. Ta-da, your site is ready. Just log in and start creating. Okay, let's continue to log in. Using the email address that auto filled for me, which is also my Elementor account email. Paste in the password and log in. Let's add that one so we don't forget it, just in case we wanna build out this donkey walking website. Welcome to the Elementor editor. Sweet, you're currently editing your site's default homepage. Let's go. Gives us a little tour. It's gonna to click next through all this stuff because it's, it's Elementor, basically. We all know what Elementor looks like. And even a nice little video there. Okay, awesome. So we have the Elementor editor with all the pro features, as it said in the email. Let's see if there's anything else that's unusual. So far, not really. All right, let me drag and drop these in. This is the homepage. 
Sweet. Let's see if we have templates. All the pro templates should be available to us. Let's just import a home page. Let's do the beauty salon over here. Let's just insert that and see what happens. Looks like that worked. Can import templates as we usually do on a WordPress site. This big E in the corner is a knowledge base and support center. And now let's update this and let's take a look at the rest of the site. Let's exit the dashboard and see what this looks like in the back end. Looks like WordPress. Can we add plugins? You bet we can. Is it a short list of plugins or can we add any plugin? Looks like we can add any plugin in the WordPress repository to these sites. So far, basically what they've done is installed WordPress for you, added Elementor, added Elementor Pro, added the Hello theme, which is an Elementor theme, and then you can start building an Elementor-based website. And there are a lot of people who would like these few steps to be done for them, but on other hosting accounts, it is pretty simple. You can do one-click WordPress installs, and then you just go to Plugins, Add New, find Elementor here, then upload the Elementor Pro plugin if you have it, go to Appearance and Themes, find the Hello theme in the repository, install it, Bob's your uncle, you have the exact same thing as you do here with Elementor Cloud, only for a lot cheaper, because this is, like Jonathan said in the email, $9.90 per month if you sign up right now, and that's per website. Each subscription applies to one site. If you don't get the launch special, it's 20 bucks a site. You can get some major amazing hosting for 20 bucks a site outside of Elementor Cloud. Just for fun, let's see how fast this website loads. That could be a selling point. If it loads lickety split without us doing any other kind of optimization work on our own, that could be a selling point for Elementor Cloud. So we'll see how fast Google PageSpeed Insights thinks this is. 89 on mobile, that's pretty solid for not having done any optimization at all. Desktop, 98, that is very, very solid. Oh, this website's private, look at the thumbnail there. That website is private, so it's not actually launched because they probably want me to pay money first. Although I didn't see anywhere to actually pay money and actually launch this website. Let's just go incognito. And it's definitely not there. So this page loads likely split, according to Google PageFood Insights. So that's maybe worth something, I don't know. Uh, but how do you actually launch this website? Let's go to the E to see if we can get some help over here. Get started, Finder, Knowledge Center, Website Management, Publish Your Website. That could be what we're looking for. And they may demand money before we can publish it. Oh, okay, here's a something or other. We have seven days left of the free trial. Fantastic. This is where we can set up DNS information. We could have a custom domain instead of this ugly domain right here. So that's pretty cool. They probably don't do email. And so you'd have to have your own email somewhere else like Rackspace or G Suite. There's backups, there's troubleshooting and debugging, and still no launch button. How do I actually launch this thing so we can speed test it? That's the last thing I want to do in this video. All the rest, you kind of get the idea what's happening, but how do we... You'd think on a free trial, you'd still be able to see what it looks like, right? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Free trial is active. Maybe it doesn't actually show the site until you pay for it. It's not really a free trial in that case. People will be much more committed if they actually launch their site in the first seven days, much more committed and want to pay for it. I can't leave that area. So that's unfortunate. I'm actually gonna sign up for this. If any of you guys sign up for it and you speed test your site, let us know if it was pretty quick without any optimization or even with optimization. Let us know in the comments down below. I feel like it should be pretty fast because it's in their best interest to make it really fast. And that initial page loads pretty quick. This one right here, that loads pretty fast. There's not much here, but it's still created using the Elementor Builder, I would assume. Let's take a look. Six mentions of Elementor. Possibly, possibly not. They might not have made this page using Elementor. Looks like not a WordPress page, unless they're hiding everything which could be the case, but there's no link to any kind of WordPress type plugins or anything. So that's probably why this loads so quickly. It doesn't even look like it's an Elementor page. Uh, anyway, um, like I said, if you do try it out, let us know in the comments down below if it's fast. And 
Also let us know if it's not that fast. And next up, I recommend you check out this video right here where I show you to speed up Elementor to make it as fast as possible because it's bloated and pretty slow. Speed it up with that tutorial. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.